These days, gears are a product of advanced and precise engineering, so it might be surprising to know that they were already used by the Greeks in 150 before Christ. They used primitive gear systems to model the course of the moon and planets. Better known historical gears would probably be the wooden ones that were used in mills and windmills. Bevel gears are conical gears and consist of the pitch cone and back cone. They are mainly used when the direction of a shaft's rotation needs to be changed. This is usually done at 90 degrees, but other angles can be attained. These gears are very efficient and can perform well under high loads at high speeds. In addition, these trays can be reached at low gear ratios. The teeth of the gears can be straight, zero or spiral. Straight bevel gears are commonly used. They are easy to calculate and are most economic to produce. Zero teeth are similar to straight teeth and lie in the same general direction. But where the straight gear teeth only have slightly tapered sides, the zero teeth are completely curved. Spiral bevel gears have curved oblique teeth on which contact begins gradually and continues smoothly from end to end. The way they mesh with the roading contact is similar to that of straight gears, but because the intersections of these teeth overlap, motion will be transmitted more smoothly and with less noise and vibration. The complexity of the setup and teeth shapes add to the need for bearings. Generally, at least two bearings are used per axle. This animation shows spur gears morphing into bevel gears, then into spiral bevel gears, then into helical gears, and finally back into spur gears again. The biggest difference between bevel and other gears is that the gears intersect at 90 degrees. The angle can also be changed to suit the specific application. As far as the working environment is concerned, bevel gears have a very quiet operation, especially if the gears are used spiral teeth. High point spiral bevel gears are a special case where the gears are mounted on non-intersecting cross-axis shaft with an offset between the two shaft axes. The different types of bevel gears have several applications across a wide variety of industries. One of the most basic and well-known applications of bevel gears is the hand drill. Older applications include a gear and pulley system in a flour mill, such as the one used in Thompson's Mill in Boston, which was built in 1863. The vertical gear has metal teeth, whereas the horizontal gear has wooden teeth. In the 1920s, Citroen installed a double helical bevel gear in a small power plant to transfer the torque of the turbine to the generator. Today the bevel gear still has many diverse applications such as automotive applications including rear axle and rear drive unit systems. It is used on motorized two-wheel drive bicycles. The bevel gears assist in mechanisms such as the rolling up of a door or the lifting of a floodgate by means of a central screw. Printing presses, such as the wallpaper printing press, implements bevel gears. Motorbike companies, such as Ducati, drive the valves in the engine by means of bevel gears. Bevel gears are implemented in systems, such as the RE walk system, which enables paraplegic people to stand upright and perform other actions not possible whilst in a wheelchair. The bevel gear has many other applications, such as in rotorcraft drive systems, locomotives, marine applications, cooling towers, power plants, steel plants, etc. The advantages of bevel, bevel gears. The gear makes it possible to change the operating angle. Differing the number of teeth, effectively the diameter on each wheel allows mechanical advantage to be changed. The rotational drive and torque of the second wheel can be changed in relation to the first, with the speed increasing and torque decreasing, or speed decreasing and torque increasing. Bevel gears can be made out of a variety of different materials. Bevel gears have practical uses such as hand drills or automobiles. The disadvantages of bevel gears. The two gears that mesh need to be specifically designed for each other, meaning they are not interchangeable. Gears must be precisely mounted. The shaft's bearings must be capable of supporting significant forces. The various materials used for gears include a wide, wide variety of cast irons, non-furious materials and non-metallic materials. The selection of gear material depends upon the type of service, peripheral speed, degree of accuracy required, method of manufacturing, required dimensions and weight of the drive, allowable stress, shock resistant, wear resistance. Some materials chosen include cast iron, steel, cast steel, plain carbon steels, 
alloy steels and aluminum. Gears made of non-metallic materials give noiseless operation at high peripheral speeds. The following processes are used to create a bevel gear. Gear milling, a metal removal process that can manufacture different types of gears, but with little dimensional accuracy. This is mostly outdated. Gear hobbing, a continuous generating process, a variety of gears can be manufactured at high product productivity rates. Gear shaping, another generating process that can produce complex features like clusters, cluster gears and internal gears. A more specialized process is bevel gear cutting. This process involves a special type of machine for each variety of the bevel gear to be manufactured. Each type of bevel gear is always manufactured only to the corresponding type of machine against its name. The tooling required also tends to vary based on the type of gear.